Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Erica, and today I have another video for y'all. I'm my down bitch. She held it down, so she just gotta stay around bitch. Just yell my name, cause I just really love the sound bitch. Recall them days when they treat me like a clown. Now they wanna be around. I've been wagging on some proud shit. But I just hate them, they just stay up on some foul shit. Change my ladies, nigga, stuck up on some child shit. When I was down, none of these niggas was around, so I just leave them where they found me. Make sure you go hit that like button, that subscribe button, and turn on your post notifications for more videos. Today's video is going to be an updated q and I haven't done a QA and a in about six months, ever since I started this channel. And I thought it would be nice to answer a few questions that you guys have been asking me over the past six months, okay? So, let's just jump straight into this video. The first question is, what is your biggest goals in life? My biggest goal would be to be successful in life. And to me, it doesn't really matter what I'm doing as long as I love it and I'm happy with it. I'm, I'm cool, feel me? That and to, you know, find love and to settle down and to build a family, that would be nice. Next question. Have you ever traveled before and where? I've traveled to like Puerto Rico, Florida, South Carolina, Virginia, like some states. But a big place that I'm traveling now to is Europe and that. It's gonna be an amazing trip. Yeah, you guys are definitely gonna get about three, four vlogs on it. And yeah, I've traveled before, but the most big trip that I'm looking forward to now is the Europe trip that I'm going to in about two months. Next question, what is your favorite store to shop at? My favorite store right now, and a lot of people might know this, is Fashion Nova. I've been shopping with them for like about two months and I love every shirt I ordered, every pants I ordered. Every hat I ordered, everything. It's just, I love Fashion Nova right now. They once did me dirty, but, you know, we figured it out and I got my money back. But other than that, yes, it is Fashion Nova and I'm trying to get sponsored. Watch that because I'm going to get sponsored soon. My next question, what do I do to cope with things that upset me? I would say I would just ignore it. Things that upset me, I don't really pay mind to it because I'm not going to waste my energy on things that I don't like. So I ignore it or I overlook the things that upset me with positivity. My next question is, what is the first thing I notice about a person physically and internally? The first thing I notice about a person is their eyes. I'm obsessed with human eyes. Like I love getting lost in the eyes. That's just number one. That's the first thing that I notice about someone. Internally, it would be their intellect, their intelligence, like stuff like that. Like, I love, a, I love a person with a brain on them, like like someone I can pick their brain with and just get lost, for me? So those are, the, those are the two things that I love some, about people. Physically, it would be their eyes. Internally, it would be their intellect. Next, what inspired me to start playing basketball? I started playing basketball when I was eight years old, and ever since then, I love the sport, like, that, that sport just helped cope with things that I was going through at the time and it was my escape and I just you know I bonded with it and I've been doing it for 10 years now sadly this is my last year playing and you know it's hard to say goodbye to something that you love and it's just it just comes to a point where you do have to let certain things go but what start what inspired me to play basketball you know it was just the fact that I was so easily drawn to it and I loved it so much that you know I stood with it how do you know you were attracted to females? So, I don't know. I just I just knew I was attracted to females. Like, they were pretty and they, I found them attractive. And yeah, I got, you know, butterflies when I looked at a female. So I was like, oh, this is new. I like females. Was I afraid to come out? I definitely was afraid to come out even though I didn't come out. Someone snitched on me and I did a story, I did a story time about this, but I was afraid when my sexuality got out there because I was not ready, but I dealt with it and now I'm just chilling. What's your proudest moment in life so far? My proudest moment would be now, you know, I'm senior year and I graduate in about 20 days. That's my proudest moment so far. How old are you? I'm 18 years young for me. I'm a baby, I just entered the adulthood, but yes, I'm 18. Can you do long distance relationships? I've been trying to do a long distance, but it's like, I feel like I won't be able to stay 
committed to it because I like to be all about the, the physical touch and yeah I want to try it but I don't know if I'll be able to commit and that's just me being honest okay I'm not gonna sit here and lie so how tall are you and what's your sign I am 5'8 but on my permit it says 5'7 I'm not 5'7 I'm 5'8 and my sign I'm a Leo I got a little tattoo look a little tattoo of my Leo sign because I love what I represent are you single yes I am big single I've been single for a long time and I don't want to be single no more so somebody can you please love me so I can love you back do you have any hoes no <laughs> I know I don't have no hoes people that consider me to have hoes are people that don't understand okay I have supporters I have people that look up to me I have people that that appreciate me and that that, that are attracted to me but they're not called hoes I don't believe that anybody is a hoe I just feel like I have a lot of people that like me but they're not hoes so I say no other people say yes I don't have hoes though what is your idea of a perfect partner my idea of a perfect partner would be someone who supports me appreciates me loves me motivates me that don't give up on me you know someone that shares like interests with me someone that understands me who doesn't judge me who knows where I'm coming from someone you know someone that I could just bond with someone that I don't know someone that I just like that I can look at them and be like you my soulmate for me I know it's corny but it's like yeah my perfect I, the idea of a perfect partner to me is just someone who who resembles me like someone that think like me someone that that knows why I make my decisions the way I do stuff like that next question is my favorite juice my favorite juice would be orange juice I drink orange juice about every single day three times a day four times a day especially in the morning when I go to school I'd be taking all the orange juices in school like I'd, I'd be drinking juice every single time when do you graduate high school I said this in another question but 20 days guys it is not 20 days it's more like 30 something days but I say 20 days because I wanted to get here already next month March 19th is my last day of high school what was the last compliment you got my last compliment was today actually I went to the bank and I went to the teller and he was like I like your hat and it was the same hat and I was like oh thank you I appreciate it so yeah that was my last compliment how many Instagram followers do you have and how many pictures I'm gonna throw it up right here because I don't know exactly but I have about 9,000 I believe and pictures about 30 I had another Instagram that had gotten hacked which I'm gonna throw it up here again and you know it sucked because I lost all of my followers and I had to restart everything and come off from the ground up but I'm getting back to where I used to be last time you cried that's funny because I've been crying a lot lately and I am very emotional right now and I don't understand but my last time I cried was at my last basketball game which was on Thursday my last basketball game was on Thursday I was playing with a sore ankle that I feel like is broken but I'm playing with a sore ankle and I went up for a shot and when I went up like I, I got blocked I think but like I got fouled at the same time to me it was a foul but everybody and then but the refs didn't call nothing so I landed wrong I'm gonna throw it up here actually too the way I landed was like I landed wrong and my ankle just started it just if it, it was a pain that just I was unbearable so I, you know, I laid there on the, on, the, on the floor and and I was crying because it was hurting a lot. But then we ended up winning the game and the other team forfeited after that. So that was the last time I cried though. It really hurts and I don't know why I'm playing with a sore ankle. I should be smart enough not to play with a sore ankle. But it is senior year and I want to go all out. So yeah, I got injured and I started crying. Are you romantic? I found myself to be very romantic with the right person. Sometimes I bless people with gifts that they do not deserve but it's just because of how romantic i am i sometimes just i pick the wrong people to show the night the, the good side of me and i did that recently and i don't regret it it's just it's just a life lesson okay and i don't i can't change the person that i am so i found myself to be too romantic 
and I tend to bless the wrong people, but I'm working on it. And for my future partner, you guys are gonna love me because I'm very romantic. Can you commit to one person? I can commit to one person if it's the right person. If you could have one superpower, what would it be? I would love to be invisible just so I can sneak into rooms and hear people talking about me because I know that happens a lot. And I would just like, I like to absorb what people say about me so I can know who's fake enough. So, one superpower, be invisible. The next question is, what's your full name? My full name is Erica Georgina Pena. Georgina comes from my grandmother, Pena comes from my father, and Erica, I don't know where that came from, but that's my name. What's your lucky number? I have two lucky numbers. One would be the 22 that I got here. 22, that's one. And my other number that I wear is 15. Do you enjoy doing YouTube? I do enjoy it. I find it fun. You know, all the support that I get, I appreciate it. And it's just a hobby. So I, I really do enjoy it. My last question, what's your favorite color to wear? My favorite color to wear is the one I got now. I love wearing white a lot. Um, white matches with anything and I feel like makes my face pop. So yeah, my favorite color to wear would be white. I bought, I bought a lot of white graphic tees lately. I just find it, I just find it cool. White, white and black, it would be between those two. That was the last question. And this is my updated Q&A video. Make sure you go hit this like button, the subscribe button, and turn on your post notifications. I'm still trying to get to 1K. I'm at 600 right now. Please, please, please keep subscribing. You know, stay tuned for more videos. I'm out. I'm my down bitch She held it down so she just gotta stay around bitch Just yell my name cause I just really love the sound bitch Recall them days when they treat me like a clown Now they wanna be around I've been wagging on some proud shit But I just hate them they just stay up on some foul shit Change my lady's niggas stuck up on some child shit When I was down none of these niggas was around So I just leave them where they found me